Hi everyone, my name is Sander from Team 1641 Pretty Smart Robotics and today I will be helping you uh, setting up Android Studio and GitHub uh, for FTC. First off, we need to install some things. Uh, if you haven't already installed Java or if it's not up to date, uh, go to your web browser and type in Java Downloads. Uh, link will also be in the description. Uh, and then, uh, then just uh, download the one according uh, to your operating system. So that would be for me uh, Windows. Uh, I'd like to use the installer version because it's um, an easy and fast way to set it up. Uh, you can also choose another one, uh, but the installation process is uh, pretty straightforward. When you've done that, uh, you need to go to Android Studio uh, and download the latest version, which will pop uh, right up. It's now uh, Android Studio Giraffe. Accept the terms and conditions uh, and the download will begin. All right, as you can see, mine is installed. Uh, it was a gigabyte, so it may take a while. Uh, then just open the file, and it asks you if uh, you want to allow this app to change your device. Then just click yes. Uh, then we'll just pop up uh, Android Studio setup. So just follow the installation process, and just wait for it to install. Then click next and finish. Great, so now you've uh, set up Android Studio. Since I've been already using it for quite a while, uh, I have some projects over here. Um, yours may be empty. Uh, the next important thing to do is to import the FTC software development kit. So uh, you can just type in FTC robot controller uh, in your web browser. That's how it's called now. I hope in the future uh, it stays the same. Uh, make sure you download the right version. Um, it looks like it's more organized now uh, than when I tried to install it for the first time. Because at that moment there were multiple uh, SDKs uh, like available. Just to make sure when you go to the uh, link, this is the right one at the moment. Uh, you can check if the versions uh, align with your season. And it's probably also somewhere in the uh, readme file. To import it into Android Studio, uh, you have to go to the code version. Ideally, you want to use the link uh, because uh, if you use the uh, link, you can then also uh, like make your own GitHub project. Uh, so you can then import and share uh, your files, which would be uh, very beneficial. And you also have an online backup. Uh, I will show you how that works uh, in a second. But if that doesn't, for some reason, uh, you can also just download uh, the zip file, extract it and import it but I'm not going to show you that because it's quite simple. So what you have to do is you have to copy the link, uh, then go to Android Studio back again, and then go to get from version control, paste the link into here uh, and find an empty space uh, for your uh, project. I'll just make a new directory and call it um, test tutorial because I already have a um, FTC robot controller uh, folder. You can just probably just click OK. Uh, and then clone. So now it's loading the full project. This may take a while because all the Gradle files need to build. But when it's done, it should look like this. Um, you have uh, two different uh, folders for the FTC robot controller and the team code, and then the Gradle script. I've had it uh, look different, and uh, that's because uh, somewhere I haven't like installed it properly. Uh, try to go through the installation process again uh, or like ask for help or anything uh, will also be a a available to help. Uh, just contact us through uh, Discord or through the comment section. I'll leave my uh, Discord tag uh, in the description. But if it is looking like this, it's great. But you have to go to put your code is in the team code Java or build inspired FTC team code. And in this section, uh, it's the same as in Umbo Java, if you've already used that. Uh, you can just uh, put your code in here or extra folders with code. Uh, and here it will run the program and uh, see all the extra files. So that's great. You already have a project uh, you can use. Uh, however, if you also uh, wanted to share this uh, and have it as an online backup and uh, that other teammates uh, can use it, we need to follow a couple more steps. In Android Studio, you have to go to the project settings and then uh, type in GitHub. Then you have to uh, add your account. So uh, this could be logged in via GitHub. Uh, if you already, like, uh, if, if this works, that's great. 
you can just uh, sign in. Uh, I'll get a verification on my phone, then I'll just approve it and this one will load. And now if we go back to Android Studio, uh, my account will be right here. Uh, if that doesn't work for some reason, uh, I've had experience with that. Uh, you can also log in uh, through a token, then click on generate because you probably don't have a token yet. Uh, and then it will already have a, a full generation list and just uh, generate token. Uh, I already have one, so just to make another one. And then this is the uh, link. It's an, uh, you can only see it once, so or store it or you have to make another uh, token every time uh, you need to access it. Um, but you have to copy this one and then paste it into here and then add the account and uh, it also works. You also have to install Git. Oh, I'll also provide this link in the description. Uh, but just go through the Windows section, uh, download the setup uh, and then uh, like fully install Git because you need it for the pushing and pulling of the project. After you've done that, go back to Android Studio. Uh, and go to the Git tab. Now this is probably uh, like a VCS uh, tab for you right now. You have to first enable version control integration and then select Git. And if you've done that, uh, you need to go to GitHub, share project on GitHub. Well, I already have a project, so I will share anyway. Uh, just make up a repository name and then share. And now it's successfully shared on GitHub. I can go over there and perfect, this is now my project. Uh, it has all of the same files. Uh, I'll probably edit uh, some of them eventually. So just to test, uh, you can make some changes. So what I will do is I will make a new Java class and I will call it a test class. Uh, then I need to go to the commit section. I will need to select it, of course, and then I'll need to uh, give a commit message. In this case, uh, added uh, test class uh, the Java commit and after you've committed then you can uh, push it into your project great it said it's uh, pushed it so then when I refresh also says here add a test class to Java then I can go to uh, source main team code and as you can see, it's right here. So that's how you set up Android Studio and GitHub uh, for FTC. Uh, I hope it's working. Uh, if not, please let us know in the comments. Uh, I will also leave my Discord uh, tag in the description, as I said previously. Uh, so you can DM me if you'd like me to help. Uh, anyways, uh, thank you for watching.